guess what? You don't have to fast for a bunch of hours to boost autophagy. See, we live in this world right now where autophagy is a buzzword. Autophagy is where your cells are recycling unused components of themselves in order to make your body more efficient. It's a really, really cool process, but it doesn't just happen when you're fasting. And I'm the first person to say, I love intermittent fasting, I love prolonged fasting. But here are some ways that you can boost autophagy without having to endure a fast, or ways that you can add on top of your intermittent fasting and boost autophagy even more. So we'll go down the list. Some are exercise related, some are food related. So we'll go ahead and we'll dive right in with this first one that's a little bit obvious, but still very important, and that is doing your cardio. Cardio is one of the most tried and true proven ways to boost autophagy. In fact, the journal Autophagy itself published a study that found that autophagy was induced whenever there was aerobic exercise in peripheral tissue. So the liver, the muscles, the heart, things like that, even the brain. The simple fact is that it is an adaptation to a stressor. So I want you to think of it like this. When you're doing cardio, you're doing a low intensity activity, and this low intensity activity is requiring just enough extra energy to where your body says, eh, I need to get a little bit more efficient at this. So in order to get more efficient, it gets rid of the wasteful parts of cells that we don't need. Now, if you start increasing the intensity too much, then you're not really getting that effect anymore because then you're going into a stressed out mode. You wanna keep it just gentle enough and just enough to make it so that your body wants to induce autophagy. And it does this for three reasons. One is the depletion of acetyl coenzyme A, and not to get super complex on you, but basically when you run out of fuel, your body starts autophagy. When you run out of proteins, when you run out of fats, and when you run out of carbohydrates, your body induces autophagy because there's no food really left. The other thing is a decrease in mTOR. mTOR is the signal that activates uh, like when you lift weights or when you're building muscle or when you're gaining fat even. So what you have to remember is that autophagy and mTOR are in a constant tug of war with each other. So what I mean by that is when autophagy is high, mTOR is usually low. And when mTOR is high, autophagy is low. So we're constantly in a balance. When you do light exercise, mTOR is lower. When you do high intensity exercise, mTOR elevates because your body's trying to repair and build versus just streamline and become efficient. And then the last thing that we have to look at with cardio is the increase in AMPK. AMPK, I want you to pay attention because this is gonna be a recurring theme in this video. AMPK is something that is the energy sensor within your body. So when you run out of fuel, this sensor flips the switch on, okay? And when it's on, it starts pulling stores of energy from your body fat and from your body in general. Also, your old cells, i.e. autophagy. So that is exactly why cardio is so powerful. Hey, I do wanna ask you, make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you're getting some value out of this content, and then hit that little bell icon to turn on notifications. And also, I want you to check out Thrive Market down below in the description. I have autophagy boosting foods, I have fasting foods, I have uh, keto foods, all in grocery bundles that I've created through Thrive Market. So they're a membership-based online grocery store. The point is, is I've done the grocery shopping for you. So I want you to check those bundles out after you watch this video. You won't be disappointed. Thrive Market is utterly awesome. So they're down below in the description. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is, believe it or not, high intensity interval training. Sounds like just the opposite of what I was talking about with the cardio, right? Because high intensity shouldn't be good for autophagy. Well, the thing is, it's not really good for it in the very beginning, but it's great for it in the long run. You see, when you're doing high intensity interval training or anything like that, you create what's called a hypoxic environment. You're deprived of oxygen because you're working so hard. This causes cells to die. This is called apoptosis. And apoptosis can be good. In fact, it's necessary, but it's not always good. You see, what happens when you're doing high intensity cardio like this is apoptosis occurs because the cells die because they don't get oxygen. But as you get more accustomed to doing it, that doesn't happen anymore. Basically, your cells start to get used to it a little bit and they start going through autophagy instead of apoptosis. So there's a study that was published in the journal PLOS1, really simple, took a look at interval training versus moderate intensity continuous training. So like just kind of high intensity, but not so high intensity that it had to be done in intervals. And then they compared this to a control group. Okay, so what they found after five weeks is that both the interval training and the moderate intensity group both had simple increases in autophagy. They both saw them, whether it was intervals 
or just medium, just constant activity. But both were better than the control group. Now what this tells us is that the high intensity after the course of five weeks ends up triggering more autophagy because the body doesn't need to kill the cells anymore. Now it just gets more efficient with it. So in the long run, high intensity interval training helps out with autophagy, but in the short term, it does not. So keep that in mind. Okay, now let's get into some foods to make this a little bit more fun. Green tea, probably one of the most powerful ways to induce autophagy. Okay, the same journal, PLOS1, found that simply adding green tea because of the polyphenols and the catechins like EGCG, we had a big boost in autophagy. You see, it promotes the formation of autophagosomes in the liver. So it actually promotes what will cause autophagy at its very core. So whereas other mechanisms make it so that, sure, you're ending up in that fasted state faster, so your body ends up going into autophagy, green tea actually turns it on. It actually has a mechanism to turn it on. Then green tea also triggers that same AMPK pathway. So what that simply means is green tea puts you immediately into that mode where your body starts recruiting from your own tissues and it just turns on autophagy. Okay, now let's talk about another one. This one's gonna make everybody happy here, coffee. Okay, so the journal Cell Cycle found that both regular and decaf coffee promote autophagy. And they do this because of the polyphenols that are in them. This is the, the solution that they could find. They're like, okay, looks like the polyphenols in the coffee, both decaf and regular, stimulate autophagy. And it seems to be doing it by stopping mTOR. Okay, so remember, mTOR and autophagy constantly in that tug of war. So for some reason, the polyphenols seem to suppress mTOR one to four hours after consumption. So that's really good news for you. Now, there's another part of this that's really good for you that like your caffeine. The caffeine itself inside the coffee will actually trigger autophagy itself through, once again, the AMPK pathway, which I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail, but basically, coffee is a double whammy. So if you love coffee, drink up, and especially drink up during your fast, because coffee while fasting only compounds the autophagy effect of the fast. Now we gotta move into another one, ginger. Okay, you can add ginger to your water during a fast. I don't think it's gonna break a fast. I think you'll be fine. But anyway, the point is, this comes out of the cancer world. Okay, so 6-shogol, which is an active component in ginger, has been researched heavily in the cancer world. And it's been found to inhibit what is called AKT and the downstream pathway of mTOR. When you're looking at cancer, you don't want mTOR. Okay, mTOR is the growth signal. We don't want a growth signal with cancer, right? So the research that's been done in the cancer world has shown that ginger stops that whole process at its core and the whole downstream effect. Simply put, ginger is going to induce autophagy by suppressing mTOR and making it so you get into that mode faster. So a little bit of ginger in the morning, a little bit of ginger with your keto diet, a little bit of ginger in your water when you're fasting could just be a perfect solution for you. And then the overall last compound that I want to talk about that you should add into your drinks or add into anything is going to be curcumin. Okay, curcumin with a little bit of black pepper, of course, to increase the bioavailability, but curcumin directly signals AMPK. So even if you're not in that state where you really are signaling AMPK, so remember, AMPK signals when you are fasted or when you run out of food, but curcumin signals it instantly, even if you have food. So if you make an omelet, throw some turmeric on there with a little black pepper, and boom, there you go. You're actually signaling AMPK even though you have food in your system. So if you're breaking your fast, you might wanna consider adding turmeric or curcumin to the meal that you use when you break your fast so that you can potentially extend the autophagy of your fast, potentially. No guarantee on that, but the science is pretty powerful. And last but not least, when you look at the big picture, there is a lot of evidence that shows that the ketogenic diet outside of just intermittent fasting has an effect on our genetics to make it so that we activate sirtuins, which is a long, complicated process, basically means it activates autophagy. So being in ketosis in general, whether it's through fasting or through dietary nutritional ketosis, will trigger an autophagic response within your body. So please, please, before you click off your computer or shut off your phone, check out Thrive Market down below in the description huge sponsor of this channel, but they've also made it so these videos are possible and made it so that I can create cool products and create cool boxes for you to actually check out. And please do hit that red subscribe button, hit that little bell icon, and make sure you're keeping it tuned in here on this channel almost every single day at 7.30 a.m. Pacific time, sometimes earlier, sometimes later. We like to keep you guessing. See you soon.